What is good, y'all? Been back. I'm back from my hiatus, bro. Work has been... Y'all know how work do, bro. If you already work, you know how I do. But new season of Diablo, new expansion, just dropped yesterday and per Blizzard style. It was a few hours late, so I wasn't able to hop on and try it out. So we're on day two of the season, but it's my first day playing it. We're going to go on with our usual tradition of looking at the battle pass and going over the things that you need to know. So before we even hop into the battle pass, you have two variants. You have, well, three technically. You have a free variant, a premium variant, and then you have the premium variant that you pay extra for to skip 20 tiers. Uh, this battle pass goes up to 90 tiers, not 100 like in Fortnite or any other game that you're used to. So starting out, we're going to start with Season journey, we're going to work our way down to listen in. We'll end off on going through each item in the battle pass and just seeing how we feel about it for the season and if it's actually worth the money that you pay along with the expansion. So the expansion was already 40 bucks. So if you want to spend an extra 10 bucks, we're going to see what's in this battle pass before you spend a dime. So season journey. Season journey is just a basically a list of different objectives that have a few different chapters that you complete as you're playing the game they keep you entertained give you some extra things to do well with this season there's a lot more things to do but yeah it's just basically a list of objectives you have to complete that will give you rewards for doing it you complete it while you're playing the game like i say all the time half the time you'll knock out missions while you're just vibing out so um another cool thing about this is you don't have to complete every objective this is one of the, my the coolest things that they did at so if you don't want to speak with a crusader you can skip that mission and then you know it'll give you you'll still be able to complete it so you don't have to complete every mission that you see on the list so out of what well, i think it's like 12 of these you can complete 10 or something like that but yeah so that's the season journey a list of things to keep you busy and give you additional rewards i do suggest that you do this because it does give you some really good rewards from what i've seen i know i've been slacking on d4 but you know things still hold true there uh season blessings moving on these are bonuses that you get as you go through the season, uh, the season battle pass. Uh, how do you get these uh, bonuses or these blessings? So you get Smolder and Ashes. Smolder and Ashes are earned through completing or working way through the battle pass. No, you do not have to pay for these. These are all part of the free battle pass. So you get them by completing different things within that battle pass. So uh, let's see. Next, Smolder and Ashes unlock that rewards here eight, for example. So if we go to rewards here eight, you can see here free and this is what you get so once you get to tier eight of the battle pass you'll be able to apply that smolder and ashes to whatever bonus that you want so we have xp boost which is big uh boost the chance to receive a legendary item from the spoils of hell's chest boost the chance to receiving a second item when purchasing from the purveyor of curiosities that's interesting boost the chance of receiving an additional seething opal reward after completing a seething round that's something new Earn of Remnants, boost the rate that you increase your reputation with the Zacharum Remnants. Same thing, that's a new thing for this season. So they have a few different bonuses that you can apply things to. Typically, I go with the XP boost while I'm leveling up, but since they lowered the XP, I don't know. It's just something we're going to have to test out. Y'all let me know what would y'all want to put the Smolder and Ashes to or what do you recommend? Again, I haven't been on my D4 ground like that, but you know, I'm trying to get back to it. Work has been in the way. So that's Seasonal Blessings in a nutshell. Remember, Smolder and Ashes are free. You do not have to pay for these. So you don't you don't have to have the battle pass to get those. So moving on, let's go on to the, the cake.
Mischievous. The helmet. See, this helmet I can deal with because it like covers the mouth and it like, and you just look overpowered. Look at this crap. My God. I might rock the helmet with no shirt. <laughs> like that. The, the usual cam look. And then the horse. The horse always gets some drip though. It always gets some drip. Full. And the horse by itself, like, that's dope. I like this. So, like I said, we get 90, 90, 90, 90 tiers, not 100. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, you earn favor for your uh, Smoldering Ashes by, you know, killing monsters, completing quests, and completing objectives in the season journey. So, basically, you earn, you're, unlock, you're able to unlock your Smoldering Ashes by freaking playing the game, basically. So, don't stress too much about it. As you play, you want to unlock it. So, what do you guys think about the Battle Pass thus far? Out of the 90 that we just looked at, are y'all vibing with it or not? Are you going to pay for it? Oh, let's also, before we even do that, let's calculate real quick. So, you get 60, 120, what's that, 180, 240, 300. So at tier 45, you have 300 coin already. 360, 420, 490. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What's that, 560? Oh, da, 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 da. 560. 630. 700. I don't think that's the case. You only get 700. Never mind. Maybe I'm tweaking. So, wait, how much does this crap cost? It's a thousand. Yeah, you don't. Unless you get a bonus or some crap. Maybe I'm mistaken. Did I do the math right? Let's go back one more time. Sanity check. Sanity check. So we're here, right? 60, 120, 180, 240, 300, 360, 420, 490, 560, 630, 700 so you only get 700 platinum from doing the uh completing the entire battle pass so maybe i i uh, heard wrong so you get 700 total platinum so the battle pass itself costs a thousand platinum it's ten dollars you only get 700 back from clearing the battle pass unless you get bonuses from doing other things throughout the season that i'm not aware of you don't get it from doing the battle pass alone but yeah so what do you guys think for me, I'll go ahead and just cop it just because it's a new season. It's 10 bucks. Who cares? Tax right off, whatever. We'll do it like that. <laughs> Finesse the system a little bit. But I'll go ahead and cop it. It looks dope. My favorite thing so far, of course, is this helmet. Like, I like the aura around it. But what y'all think about it, bro? Y'all let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. If y'all ever want to run some, let's get it. Send me your friend request. We'll make it happen. But. Yeah, that's a quick gist about how everything works with the seasonal journey, season blessings, and the battle pass. So, as always, y'all, appreciate y'all for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Back on the grind, trying to get consistent. See y'all next time.